Welcome to the Outer Rim Rookie, a beginner's journey to joining the 501st. My name is Rob Williams. I'm here with Terry Chu. Now we are today. We are going to be working on our thigh patch. Um, last week we were we were making the thigh patch the template. Now we're actually going to sew it on to the suit and actually make a strap as well. Yep. Yeah, a garter. I don't even know. I think it's just a thigh strap. All right. Thigh strap. <laughs> Not a lot of talking happened today. We're going to get some work done today. So um, let's get going. All right, so today, um, as we said, we're going to be sewing uh, the thigh patch. Last time I cut it out and we cut out these little slots here and ironed it on. Uh, but Terry suggested that I actually sew it on as well before we actually sew it on to the suit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a nice little thin sew, we'll use a couple of millimeters off the edge there and then just sew it all the way around to make it nice and neat, no flapping, no... No flapping in the breeze. No flapping in the breeze. We yeah. have the butt flap done already anyways, so uh, no flapping and it make it easier to sew onto the uh, suit. So. I just want to say I'm very excited because <laughs> Rob, uh, as, as you may or may not know, if you've been following Outer Rim Rookie, Rob um, slightly damaged my good luck Totoro cat bus pin cushion, which has been around for many generations. Um, and so he, he got me this for Christmas, which is so cute. It's a updated Totoro cat bus. <laughs> very thoughtful of him. So thank you very much um, and may May the new Totoro Cat Bus bring us good fortune and um, you good, kill, good sewings. You kill a guy's cat one time, you never hear the end of it. <laughs> Faith restored. All right, so we are now, I've finally, finally uh, cut all the seams, or stripped the seams? Ripped the, ripped ripped the, the seams. seams. Ripped the seams all the way down the, uh, the, the, the legs. So now we gotta cut this in half to figure out where the halfway mark is. Yeah, so you're taking the template, you're gonna make a mark where the um, seam originally was. Yeah because you're gonna line up the thigh patch to where the seam actually is, yeah. right? So just make a mark there. Right here. At the top, one at the okay. bottom. Okay, there we are. Top. Let's make sure I don't screw this up. There we go, right there. Yep, and we're gonna do that to the other one too, and then we're gonna line this up to the pants. Should I just make a line like right nope, up there? No, you don't need to. Okay, okay, just make sure. All right, so do on both sides, and then we'll cut. No, we don't no. need to cut. We're we don't need to, it's just lining up. We're gonna sew it all in one shot. Oh, thank shot. God, okay. Okay, perfect. So okay. just line up and sew it up. Yep.
This took about an hour and a half or so, and I've got one side of it done. So this is really tricky. But uh, one right side of the leg chap, I guess? Thigh patch. Thigh patch. <laughs> I don't know. I, I heard chap and I kind of went with it. So, But that's one side of it done. And now, now that i got to get the hang of it, oh, a little, little buckle, but that's going to be so tight inside the, the leg there. I think it'll be It'll hidden. be covered. It'll up. be covered. So, and as you can see, I had to split up the leg to get attacked, to get at it. And this was a really tricky one because I kept had to go into the leg, I had to go into the front. It's done. Next one, uh, another hour, I think, and I'm done this. <laughs> so, let's go. I'm here with... Max Richards. All right, now Max, how old are you? I'm 16. 16. Now, if I remember, and Terry's holding the camera, what's the age of, uh, you're allowed to be in the 501st, 18? Yes. He's, he's nodding his head. Yeah. Oh, you already know that. All yeah, right, yeah. so. I'm ready. So you're ready. You're building your TK costume. Yeah. First of all, what uh, what started you on the journey? Um, I've always just been really into stormtroopers, and um, I don't know, it's, 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 I just really love Star Wars, and uh, I don't know if, uh, I, I know everyone has that process of just like looking online and trying to find like a, a stormtrooper or just whatever costume. Yeah. And yeah, I, I found a Novos, but yeah. mm, it's a Novos. And it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get this. Yeah. And yeah, I got it and I'm starting to put, put it together. So, how did you discover the 501st? Um, Actually, my uh, my aunt found it mm -hmm. uh, when I when I got it. Um, she went to the Calgary uh, Christmas Expo. Mm -hmm. So yeah. basically, uh, she just like was hitting up or just asking some of the guys like, "Oh, hey, do you guys know anyone uh, in the Outer Rim Garrison?" And they were like, "Oh yeah, Terry Chu. Go go look at Terry <laughs> Chu." Yeah, everybody knows Terry Chu. Yeah. He, so, and uh, so you guys got in contact with Terry and Terry's uh, come, came out here to help you uh, with, the, with the armor and stuff. Yeah. What's it been like? What's the process been like for you? Uh, a lot of fun, I yeah. guess, yeah. Nervous at all? Uh, very nervous, the, the limbs, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the hardest part so far? Um, I don't know. I think once you get past like just the cutting out and the sanding, it's, that's, that's totally easy, I think, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know, like putting together the limbs is like, cause you, you have to like shape it to your body. And, right. Yeah. Why do you want to join the 501st? Well, because it's, I don't know. I think it's um, a fun, it would be a fun experience to join the 501st and like just help out the community and do some charity while I'm doing it. Like yeah. in a sense, I guess. That's awesome. No, I mean, that's a big deal for, I know for, for myself, for Terry mm -hmm. and even Bradley, who's uh, joined us at the armor party. You're hosting the armor party. Yeah. This is cool. Like you're like, you're 16 and you're hosting your, the first armor party here. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so I'm just really excited to see like you get involved in this mm -hmm. because um, you're young, you're, you're eager. What's this meant for you personally? Uh, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's awesome that I'm doing this and I don't know, it's just really exciting. What do your friends say about this? Uh, they're really excited yeah. and they're like, whoa, you got a stormtrooper? <laughs> they're just like, they're like all freaked out. Yeah. It's going to be really, feel, it's going to feel really good when you show yeah. up to like a con. Are you, are you, when's your goal, by the way? Is it this con, yeah, down this con. in March? Yeah, in March. Yeah, in we'll March. See you there. So he could actually beat me. Yeah. And uh, so it's... Well, not... No, you're going to beat me. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> He's going to beat, gonna beat you. me. <laughs> but uh, Another two years. Another two. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, our youth. <laughs> so thank you so much. Good luck. I think this is awesome. And I'm really proud of you for trying this out. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, this is going to be, I'm looking forward to seeing Max out there. And think about it. Don't, don't tell them, but think about a TK number as well. There's very few left. Oh, so really? you got to think about a TK number as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing that, to seeing your inauguration. We can slap him with a big bottle of pepsi on the back on the ass or something like that congratulations you made it that's how they told me i no doesn't work that way <laughs> bradley no all right all right that's how, how it works so all right so thank you very much sir good luck we'll yeah. see you in a bit here all right back to my costume okay so we've got uh, i've sewed in the the inseam here um then we got now we have to measure the strap and see how much far we go but you told me to to put this on and i don't know why i had to put it on i've Cut it all kind of cut up here, I didn't, so it's I didn't kind of showing. I you to take your pants off <laughs> for this process. 
Well, but that's okay. It's clothing I, optional. Well, uh, I'm assuming this is what I'm wearing underneath. It's a little drafty. Right. So we're going to sew this back up. Right? I like that. the leg room there. It's it's it's, it's very like, chic. Do you remember Angelina Jolie's chic. dress yeah, exactly. from like, like Oscars? And every time she had to like, she had to do this ridiculous like leg pose. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm gonna do out in the woods there with the Ewoks. <laughs> How you woods. doing there? Am I, all right, a little pose there, a little pose. All right, so enough posing. Uh, so what are we doing here? We, we just... are taking our two inch elastic for the thigh straps. So we need to figure out how long they're going to be. And they basically need to attach to kind of the middle underneath. Uh, we're going to cut this seam. And then we're going to slide this under the thigh patch, have it go around our leg, and then go under the patch in the back of the leg. Um, okay. It's I don't really know what they're there for. I think it was just to add a little extra texture or detail. But, um, uh, that's what we need to do. So it's basically the last step in getting the jumpsuit done, and the jumpsuit's done. And we just sew it on like all across the top and all across we the We don't bottom. need to. We actually just sew it there and there, and that's it. Oh, that's it? That's it. Oh, this yeah. is gonna be easy. All right. Okay. Hey, how you doing? I like, <laughs> I like my legs here. <laughs> All right, so um, we're wrapping up here. This is a real quick one for us because we were just going, 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 going. We have we a house straight through. We have a yeah. house full of people here too, which was awesome. It was really cool to see Max's family get really involved in this, and uh, Max himself. Question for you, uh, Max had this question. I have this question. He, he is uh, too young to join the Fiber First. What's his options? He can handle for us, mm -hmm. right? So he's more than welcome to volunteer and help take pictures and help people put on their costumes and stuff like that. Um, he could join as a member of Galactic Academy, so at a public event, if it was a charity walk or something, he can get onto our forums and, and attend if he wants to. Okay. Um, you know, he usually has one of his parents with him, so yeah. he's still a minor, right? Yeah. But, uh, you know, they could be there to make sure everything goes smoothly. But, awesome. um, you know, we always encourage younger people, whether they're kids of our members or, you know, friends, kids, that sort of thing, as long as they have an adult to accompany them. Yeah. Um, and if it's a public event, they're more than welcome to join and because we want to make sure it's a welcoming yeah. environment yeah. right we don't want to be like ah you can't do this at all and you know so, so being, it's a way to be involved being an armor is okay uh, as long as he's got family and uh, with him yep and stuff, yep right? we've had members before whose kids have come in costume yeah so it's got all that. good yeah. yeah so um i felt good on this one um you, you pr probably not a lot of footage because i was i was going out and uh, it was, I felt really good because the sewing part, I get what's going on. I know what's happening. I guess it's mostly because I'm practicing more and more and, and doing better at the sewing. I mean, yeah, I jammed it up pretty good at one point. We didn't get that. It was a technical problem <laughs> with the sewing machine. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah. But uh, we, it was, it worked well. I know what to do. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of, it, the hardest part was trying to, I liked how you were Tetris your way through the sewing machine. You're trying to get up the pant leg in through the, the, uh, the front of it. It was, it was a bit of a, Bit of an Tricky. awkward yeah. pattern or an awkward shape to sew, but you did it. And it's going to be awkward putting the strap on too. But uh, I almost wanted to do hand sewing at one point. You can. That's if, if that's that easier for you. If, it, if that's easier yeah. for you, then then definitely do that, yeah. right? Because it's. I mean, it's very small in the amount in terms of the amount of stitching yeah. you need to do. Exactly. So okay, so we got um, we got the thigh patches. Patches. <laughs> thank you. I was going to say chaps again. <laughs> it's a different club uh thigh patches and uh the strap that's pretty straightforward i'll update that i'll i'll record myself doing a little bit more of that later on as we go to pictures on instagram at gen x wing but um other than that terry uh thank you so much where can we find you you can find me at panda uh, dash props.com yeah and uh panda props mm, costumes on with an, uh, n. with an n on instagram and uh on facebook as well too awesome. and on the outer, outer room garrison boards and rebel legion boards Yes, and uh, you can find uh, The Outer Room Rookie on YouTube, here we are, as well as a podcast and the Generation X podcast on anywhere you download podcasts, iTunes, whatever. Uh, find Generation X Wing on Twitter, on Instagram. That's where I put a lot of these pictures of my, my build. Uh, find a website at generationxwing.com. You can find t-shirts. We got we got Outer Room Rookie mugs. That's awesome. And we got Outer Room Rookie t-shirts. And I, if I had some time, I'd design some better stuff, but I think it's pretty cool. If you want to support the, t the show in any way, uh, it helps. Every little bit helps. Um, and as well as Generation X-Wing on Public, We have a Patreon. That's for Generation X-Wing. Patreon's not for me. It's for, for Generation X-Wing. So I'm taking my two bucks from that mug, one fifty cents from that mug, and uh, putting it towards the straps and a new Totoro cat. So awesome. uh, thank you so much again. Thank you for watching. And uh, what's next? I think we've got... 
maybe a vest the vest to work on. and uh the armor strapping and that's it armor strapping i'm pretty comfortable with that one the vest i'm not I, so. armor strapping is going to go really fast all right I, I i okay awesome all right so we will see you next time uh thanks for watching and remember armor is built on hope talk to you later bye totoro cat <laughs> Check the OR, you like it so far, check the OR, you like it so far, check the OR, you like it so far, check the OR, you love the OR. Uh, here we go, ready to set it off. From coast to coast, it's the most in it, hits rough. Organized crimes, here to start it up. You got some trouble with your mouth, you better shut it up. Think twice before you act and try to tackle the funky stuff. I take your suckers out like meat on a shish kebab. And you don't know it, but your girl's doing kiss and rob. And you're the one who wants the corn, but you miss the cop. So here's a bit of something new. Give me a toot and salute, and I'll give you my boots. We you need it while I'm playing the thespian. I got a ride, and you're just a pedestrian. I grab a horse, and I jump like a...